so I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm a victim or any of you guys are victims because I don't like to take up that attitude because I think that we can always, you know, try to do something about our situation. You know what though, man, it seems like it is very easy to be isolated. And I think that that isolation, especially for a man is, man, it's impacting our lives and we're not ready for it. And we, we almost don't even know how much it impacts our lives. So we don't really pay any mind. And so maybe we just need some awareness. Uh, but I'll tell you this, is that when you're isolated, you have no group, you have no one really holding you accountable, or a, a group of men that are hard, you know, like a team, like to feel like you're on a team, people that check you, people that, you know, your tribe is, is reviewing you in a sense, it verifies you. It verifies what you think about yourself. If you're all alone all day, it's very easy to start having these uh, weird ideas about who you are. Your identity is actually found in the tribe. This is something that Jack Donovan talks about in his uh, book, The Way of Men and Becoming a Barbarian. But guess what? Men have so many distractions. We have so many different things that we can do when we're alone. And don't get me wrong, I love being alone. I find a lot of enjoyment just reading books and, you know, doing my own thing, cooking myself a meal, going for walks, going to the gym, working out alone. But I actually feel this call that is telling me, well, hey man, you know, that's, that's good and all, and life is okay. But there's something missing, dude. There's like this yearning that I have to have a close-knit group of people, men, in my life that I care for. They care about me. We work together. We do stuff together. We grow together. And I really believe that if I don't have that, and the more that I do isolate myself, a lot of little worries are going to creep up and seem like they're monstrous. They're going to get inside my head. I'm going to worry about everything. I'm going to worry about the next day. I'm going to worry about my position in life, the future. I'm going to overanalyze everything. I'm going to theorize way too much. If there's problems with a woman, I'm going to, uh, if she's all you got in your life, if she's all I have, She's going to cause me the most stress, the most grief. I'm not going to be able to be a leader. Without men in your life, these little problems creep up, man. And you start to second guess yourself. You start to forget who the fuck you are. Because again, a, a man is made to work together with other people. There's no denying it. And so if we don't answer that call, a lot of us, a lot of us think we just, what well, happiness for us is like, you know, being able to travel, being able to get married and have kids. It's like, dude, come on. Being able to work hard and, you know, you go to your job, you grind out, make a bunch of money, then what? Right? Up until a certain point, the money is going to give you a certain amount of happiness, but that's not all there is, man. There's something more than there. There's something, and I think that if we don't answer that call, if we don't start aiming at fulfilling what it means to be a man. Well, you know, a lot of us are going to be unhappy. We're going to feel lost and confused. And goddamn, dude, it, it is getting crazy out there. Is how soft the picture of success, the picture of happiness is becoming. It's like I, I go on Instagram sometimes and I see these, you know, just if you click the little microscope or the, you, see, you click the search and you see all these different travel locations and there's always like just a beautiful girl laying by a bathtub, sitting in the bathtub, looking out into the world. She's just like 
at the best. And oh man, could you imagine? Everyone wants to go to this place. Then you go to, there's a girl sitting, and then a guy walks out with his phone, and it just opens up into like a vast jungle. It's like, you know what? That's pretty cool for about two days, max. And then I fucking want some sort of, man, I, I gotta get away from the girl. I wanna be back. I wanna, I don't wanna be just in some nice, comfortable, warm bed, taking warm baths, putting pedals on my fucking self, you know, getting my feet massaged. It's not what my body was created to do. So, in in this uh, conflict that we create for ourselves, you know, this masculine energy we create, we use we use it in conflict, dude. That's what the gym is. It's stress. It helps us grow. It fucking makes us feel good about ourselves. Going on runs, getting in that fucking cold, man. You know, strip down. Try going outside and take off your big burly Eskimo jacket and go for a walk in 28 degree weather and see if it doesn't, you know, light up your spirit a little bit. So the comfort ends up being the death of you. It There's a lot of uh, entropy in comfort. You start to decline. It's complacency. And that's when you start dying, man. You know, I see this though with a lot of men is like, well, it's easy to get in that comfortable place. Especially alone, so you got this double whammy, just like, okay, isolated man, lacking in identity, confused, but yet he's comfortable right where he is because he's got Netflix, video games, porn, and Uber Eats, you know, deliver, he's got food at his fingertips, anything he wants. The struggle is not real, man, because there's no struggle. The struggle is to find meaning. And so a lot of us, we look for the wrong meaning. So how do you find your tribe? Well, you know, it, it takes uh, you being the catalyst. It really does, man. I don't have a recipe. That's the thing. I just know what I want. And so I've either got to make it happen or I don't. You've got to either make it happen or you don't. Um, or else you just blend in. So this could be a club at your school. This could be you know, keeping your friends together. But again, you know, the thing with the friend group is that sometimes you're going to lose a friend or you're going to lose multiple friends because some of our friends end up going the path of least resistance where, you know, marijuana, dude, is a big one. It just getting high. Once, once the high, not just from marijuana, but once the high from anything becomes the main focus, you sort of, you lose the high from creativity, from creation creating and making something beautiful with your time and doing something with your life. That's hard because the high just kind of, you know, gives you that feel. And when you're high, man, you know, it's easy not to reach out to your friends. It's, when that's all you're worried about, the same thing when, when you, all you got is your girl, like that's that's sort of like that high, man. You don't got to, you're getting the sex. You're getting the fucking, you know, you're getting off. You got the porn, man, you're getting off. And so we're getting high, man. And then we, so we stop creating and, you know, it's, you're either an artist or you're, you're a creator or you're, you're doing something and you have this battle that, that makes you kind of a, you just have this battle because you know you can't always be comfortable, right? <laughs> if you're comfortable, it's like, well, ain't shit getting done, man. Ain't shit getting done. And when you're comfortable, it makes you feel weak. It makes you feel lethargic. You get tired. You start having depression depression, you know, you start waking up later, black cloud over your head. You start to really question, um, when I, th I found that in too much comfort. And, uh, you know, everyone says, follow your purpose. And, but I, I, again, I think that a lot of us, we're still looking for that purpose because we want something more, man. We want something more than just, you know, starting a Shopify and making a bunch of money, starting an online business. We're kind of told like be an entrepreneur and do this, but look, a lot of this shit is um, lonely. There's a deeper meaning to that. To have real brothers, to have a real crew uh, that you care for, people that uphold you, uplift you. I think we have to really start evaluating what it is that we want and then aim for that man 
aim for it, locked on target. So just a couple things I'm seeing and just how goddamn easy it is to get soft, dude. God, man. The, t the television, throw out the fucking television, dude. I threw out my television, I threw out the PS4, I sold it, you know, gave it the TV away. Best thing I've done, man. It's just too damn easy to do nothing with anyone else, to isolate yourself. If you're on Facebook, or you're Instagram, you're playing video games, dude, you're alone. Yeah, you need your alone time, I get it, we're not all social, but look, you are a social creature. The shows that people are watching, filling their head with, dude, what, what are, and no wonder, no wonder we end up getting a little sad and depression, confused about the future. Well, because we're not showing up to our creative potential. Don't even take the time to figure that shit out, man. Always got other stuff. Always got these little activities going on. So look, man, wrapping this thing up, if you're in a position where you feel really confused, well, maybe you need some other dudes in your life. You know, maybe you need to talk to somebody. Not a therapist. I'm not talk, saying, I'm talking, get your, work on getting your crew together. Maybe, and you know what that thing for a tribe is, a real life tribe, having a goal. Having a goal for your, your crew. Maybe, you know, if you don't know where to start, man, start with the body. All men want to be fit. Get your bros into lifting. And then, uh, and then that's how that's how I started with some of my friends. Even though you know, honestly, dude, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to move on from some of your friends. Some of them don't care about reaching that greatness, about being something more. They're just okay with all the stuff that fills the void for now. Okay, so sometimes sometimes you do gotta walk away from your friends because they're not pushing you, and you can't even push them because you know they ain't coming. All right, complacency is death. So, let's get it, dude. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.